So I ask for some courage And I separate the false from the true I lay fear down beside me I said, you got no proof Is this love? Welcome to your messages. It's Ricky coming to you on this new moon from my bed because I've tried to leave the house several times today and spirit said no <laughs> you're staying in bed and so I thought it would be good to come to you from the bed with the pillow that says namaste in bed I had big plans today and um, yeah like that saying goes we make plans and God laughs <laughs> so I did I did a lot of clearing meditations today and I've been, you know, on a rigorous schedule of <laughs> uh, guided and frequency meditations and sessions uh, every day. So I, I had big plans today <laughs> and uh, know that I was to do even more. And so I think I finally, I think it's like eight o'clock here. <laughs> And I finally felt like I wanted to do something, which was this reading. I felt to do this reading because there is so much going on in uh, astrology and with the new moon. Uh, as you know, I'm my makeup, my being really responds to the moon, if you know me at all. I, I was living in, in Utah in a monastery and there was just spaciousness with you could see the stars and the moon a lot and that's how I feel I knew nothing about the moon and uh I, I figured it out because I would always be outside crying or or just not able to sleep and I would look up and there'd be a full moon and I figured it out you know when there's a full moon I, I get a lot of emotion so that's how I figured it out <laughs> and then I researched it so you'll usually find me doing readings around a new or a full moon and this is a new moon right now today August 4th and that represents new beginnings but this is also a mercury retrograde which um, symbolizes life review so all the re words like um, you know you're reinventing yourself you're reviewing your past memories um, it's just a, a look at how how far we've come, where we've come from, what we've learned, our lessons. And sometimes it can feel dark. Sometimes uh, the darkness comes up. Sometimes the shadow is there to, to be transmuted into the light. And I've been doing a lot of that work and uh, just, you know, soft tears for me um, as I feel the new come in or as I pray or as I meditate or just feel the vibration of love and I, I'm noticing that uh, tears are, are just streaming and also I'm taking a lot of salt baths as usual <laughs> but also drinking a lot of uh, soup and that seems to water liquids stuff like that okay so the new moon um, is is a good it's a good energy let me, let me just pull some cards. This is the Four of Cups. So this card talks about being bored. <laughs> this card talks about uh, no longer being satisfied with what you have. And, 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 and the Spirit has another cup for you. So the universe hears you. You know, where your heart is, your treasure lies. So whatever you're contemplating, whatever you want, whatever you're thinking of and you're wishing of, on, sorry, um, there's another cup that you don't know about yet or you just can't see it or it's not there yet, but it's coming. So, you know, it's kind of like patience is called for. Let's see what else we have. The Knight of Pentacles, the Sun, the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and wow. The ace of wands so as you can see this really there is that third eye awakening which is vision so you can see within your mind now you don't you know you have the eyes to see and if you are feeling like you don't then the energies are here to support you 
if you quiet down, if you get still, and if you go inside, um, there's there's an opening for you. Um, and a lot of times, a lot of people will meditate on a candle flame or just close their eyes. But um, I used to see the color purple here. And um, you can look up colors and, and things like that. It, it means something awesome, you know, spiritual, but um, there is vision coming in and it wants to come in. It wants to be given to you, but it's going to take you pausing and asking instead of already knowing what it is you're seeing or hearing. It's kind of like a new world is really wanting to open up for us, especially with this new moon. Um, and it's asking, do you want to do the things that you've done before. Um, if you're not happy with the results, maybe try something different. And this energy is really asking us to slow down and, um, and really be present and aware of what we're doing and of what's in front of us. And if you're going through anything like I'm going through, <clears throat> it's a real review of, of where I've compromised or where in my life I am um, ple people pleasing or compromising or doing things that are no longer helpful. And so I'm having to really face everything. And, and the minute I get through a series of lessons or tests and, and agree to, to change or to shift what's no longer working for me, and I'm like, oh my God, I did it, then a whole nother set of either relationships or patterns or habits are being uh, like thrown at me. And I'm like, okay, wait, hold up. But you know, the thing is when you're ready, they're gonna keep coming because you're saying yes. So the spirit is just gonna keep giving you opportunities to level up, you know, to get happier. To heal is to make happy, so it's good. So if you're not happy, there's something coming in, but the work is, I mean, you're here to do the work and it's the work is life. So whatever is in your life right now is your lesson. So if there's somebody that is making you feel uncomfortable, it's good. That's your savior. If there's something that you're struggling with, you're challenged with, great. That's your savior. That's your opportunity. So if we just we just want to change the way we're looking at things instead of, oh my God, I, you know, not, not again, not this, I can't handle it. You know, there's another way of seeing the world. That's what this new moon is about. It wants to bring you life. This is the center card. And this was the underneath the deck. So, you know, there's, there's a fire in your mind and when you come into alignment with the light in your mind, then your reality feels like this. And you can't fake it. Like you're, you're the one feeling the feelings. So they're just saying, what do you want to feel? And if you don't like it, something's got to change. What's got to change? is the way you're treating yourself. Um, are you just going along with what life is throwing at you or are you making sure that you first find whatever way needed to ground you, to get yourself in a calm and peaceful state of mind and then go out and say, okay, what comes will come. There's nothing that I cannot face. There's no challenge that I cannot handle. So, you know, I mean, I've had to go through some deep, you know, past work to, to even want to face the challenges. But, you know, the spirit brings you everything you need if you ask. So they're, they're just saying that if you get quiet and give yourself the time needed to get honest with what you really need. For me, it was, you know, different forms of therapy and you know, listening to different things on YouTube and uh, connecting with different people or teachers or 
uh, friends. You know, there's just a series of things. The tarot has been very helpful for me. Channeling has been very helpful. Music has been very helpful. So it's going to look different for all of us. But this is a time of going inward and reviewing what is not working for us, getting honest and changing it, and then going out and sharing the things that we've learned because you have to give it away if you want. This is Johnny Appleseed. You know how he would just throw the seeds behind him and, and it would leave, you know, <laughs> abundance everywhere where well, you have the ability to do that. You have the ability to get through the challenges you're facing right now and then go and be a way shower for others by shining your light. You can be a demonstration that you've made it and now you are living your best life. And if someone else is living their best life, all that means is that you can live your best life. And it's really up to you if you're gonna go for that. This is the 10 of swords, you know, it's saying that there's a new horizon available for you if you'll do the work. And this is work on yourself. You cannot help anybody until you help yourself. And that is the lifelong journey. So very quickly with the Eight of Wands, it just says that you're going to have enough <laughs> and change it. If you have, you know, we have a high tolerance for pain, but we do have a limit. And so we will all reach that limit when we decide to stop and change things so that we can our only goal is peace. And once we find the peace of God within our own heart and mind, we are able to go out and help others find that peace. And it's not like you go from door to door with a book and say, I've made it, let me help you. It's so different from that. And you know, it's your backdrop could be, I mean, mine is right now they're saying it's music and I'm, I was like, no way. You know, it's kind of like, it's the least thing you would expect because it's the most thing that would bring you joy. That's how you're gonna change the world. So it's it's really, there's a belief that um, that there's a sacrifice, but it's the opposite. So it's really, you know, it's really a, a discovery. It's a self-discovery, this energy. You're being asked to come into this energy, whatever that looks like for you. And when you want it and you want nothing else than that, then you'll see nothing else. I have been listening to these uh, like frequency, music, sound, meditations, and they've been really helping me clear the channels for the light to come in. And then my friend said, we just bought this. You go to this room and you sit for two hours and these healing frequencies just vibrate through your body and they're like, I haven't slept in days and I feel so God, you know, I feel God within me. And I was like, God, that sounds great. And they're like, yeah, it's so expensive. We, we paid so much money. I'm like, oh, I guess I'm not going to that. And they're like, oh no, I can bring a friend on Friday. So they take me and, and yeah, it was awesome. It was, it was pretty awesome. I got to just sit in a big chair that goes back and blanket and, and just, listen to this high frequency and I could feel it, you know, and, and I just thought, you know, it's so loving, you know, when, when we decide that we want to heal, then everything we need just comes. And that's just one example of, of how you don't need what you think you need or even money to get everything that is available. You know, resources come in all different forms. And once you trust that the universe is for you and not against you. Everything you need just comes. So let's see if we can go a little deeper into the message. It's Sunday where I am and um, yeah, new moon Sunday. We're going to get these messages to see if we can get some help with this transformational, <laughs> transmuting transformational energy. So the emperor and the tower. So there's a, um, there is a, a shocking change of mind where, okay, this is some great energy. The emperor is you. 
So the, these cards talk about the fact that you get to choose how you want to live. And that's the power is within you to change your mind about the world and about yourself. That's what this says. Okay. So you have a tower where you are being asked to change your mind about the world that you're living in, the way you see it, the way you experience it, and to realize that you have the power within you. That's the emperor. So you have, I don't, I mean, the, so many courts came out, I don't even know what to say. God. Yeah, exactly. Oh, shit. The tower, your whole world changes. You go out on a new adventure as the fool. You start all over. It's a zero. <laughs> and you take nothing with you. I mean, you can take, you know, that little bitty bag and a flower and your dog. <laughs> but you're, what you're doing is taking a leap of faith. And you're letting God, your angels, your source, whatever you want to call it, guide you. Because you have seen that you know, life is not about paying bills and hitting a time clock. You are more than your body. You're an eternal being of light and love. And that's who you are. And that's what you're to be living. This. But you have to decide. You have the power. You had it all along, darling. What is that? You... Oh, Dorothy, you had the power all along. You're the empress. Oh, my God. And you're the magician. This is just insane. Don't let the devil tell you. Okay, so I'm sorry. I can't believe all these cards just flew out. So, right. Okay, so this. let's talk about this card because there is still a thought system in the mind saying that there is a evil spirit or an evil or a punishment for not yeah i mean it can be that big of a thought system or it can just be doubt saying you know it can just be thoughts when you're trying to be in the vibration of love so okay for i'm, I'm sorry <laughs> i have so many things going through my mind so i come from catholic upbringing and and this came back around like um I had family, a family member saying, you know, the tarot is the devil and you're evil and you, your tarot and you being gay is evil. And I'm like, am I still, how is this still happening? But it was just another layer. It was just another round. Um, and so I faced it head on and, and it lightened up, but, it, but it's been 55 years of facing that thought system. And I realized it wasn't the person, it was just the mind. And then once that thought system got overcome, then there's another stream of thoughts that just want to come in. And they, they're not even organized thoughts. Okay, they're just trying to meditate and there's thoughts of worries. And, but the mind has overcome the big things now, the, the big beliefs, you know, the, the government or the religion or the, you know, sexuality, you know, those, those big ones you have to, and then, then there's just consciousness, just a stream of thoughts going, going, you know, and you have to choose and you have the power. You have the power to choose to live however you want. The Empress is like all four queens in the tarot in one. You know, you've mastered the physical world and all the dark thoughts. Ten of Swords, that's done. And you're ready to step into the sunlight and see that you decide how you want the world that you live in to be. And you go to those people and do those things. You have the power. If you are in a town or a relationship or a job or a family and you're 55 years old and you don't want to be there, then oh my God, please leave. And that's that's what this new moon is saying. You, you have the choice now. You know better. You're not young and unable to take care of yourself. So they're just saying that this is an illusion. 
these people think they're under the spell of the devil and they're chained here together and under a leader, but they're not at all. They can slip through these chains. That's what they're, that's what they're saying. They're saying that you are not trapped where you are. If you're not happy, you can leave and you should. <laughs> so that the choice is up to you. You can do as many rounds as this. Like, have you seen that movie Groundhog Day? You know, you can live it over and over again. Eventually, it's going to, enough is enough. Eventually, enough is enough. So this card fell in my lap. And it's that most of the people viewing this don't know that this card, for me, means that you are choosing the spirit over the ego. So just choose. You know, if it's not loving, then it's not of God. And you are the one who gets to decide. Okay, so I'll just get a couple of oracle cards and and read them to you. And we've had some really amazing readings lately, uh, or some private readings, and they've all been so empowering. So I'm just saying right now that there's just such a feeling of support. So do do pray and do meditate and do ask. Ask and you, you shall receive and reach out. You know, if you need help, call a friend. Um, keep going. Phoenix rising, transmutation, the Phoenix rising from the flame. So I guess plenty of you here are going through it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, transcending. Transmutation, 29, 29, 29, 29. All right. Okay. Your life is changing, perhaps in ways that you didn't expect, but it is wildly wonderful. Transmutation is the act of changing from one state of being or one element into another. The Phoenix is legendary for his transmutation in fire. Yeah. One of the things about this new moon, oh, I know what it was. I wanted to read to you. What was read to me today? Victor Franco, what is to give light must endure burning. <laughs> oh, I lost my card. Here it is. So what is to endure light? must endure burning. So the phoenix rising from the flame. Yeah? Also from Rumi, you have to keep breaking your heart until it opens. And also from Rumi, the wound is the place where the light enters. That's what this new moon is about. So if you're going through that, you are being asked to hold a space for those energies to burn away the past and the darkness into the light. Okay. The Phoenix is legendary, is legendary for his transmutation in fire. In the flames, he is reborn, leaving behind his old and tired self to become a passionate, wild, and free bird. Something that you might have thought would never change is changing into something amazing. It's not an ending. Rather, it is a bright, shiny new beginning. Situations that seemed lackluster are transmuting into fabulous opportunities. Release expectations and limited thinking for things are not as they seem. The spirit of the Phoenix says a big change is at hand in your life. What feels like an ending is really a beginning. Rising out of the flames and ashes, you are entering a new cycle. Even if life seems murky in areas, this is only the clearing before a rebirth. Hang in there. The best is yet to come. Wow. 
gosh. Yeah, I, you know, I just love how these cards just bring it full circle into, that's how all the private readings have been lately. Just like shock of, of what's confirming what we already know is going on within us. So it's really beautiful. I feel very grateful. And it's intense too. <laughs> I'm just looking at all these major arcanas. So the tower, and they came out together. The fool, the emperor, the empress. I didn't see that relationship. The devil, the magician, co-creating with the universe. I mean, and the sun. Isn't that amazing? Let's get our last card. One more message, please. Okay. Chaos and conflict, number 33. And that 33 has been coming up for me a lot. Okay. Okay, disarray, being at cross purposes with another, the tension of opposites. The value of chaos before order. Beautiful. So that is, it's like a reorganizing. See, he's shedding a whole skin. That, that's got to feel chaotic. It says opposing forces come together to create a turbulent atmosphere. But consider the value of chaos that serves you well as you become unmoored by it. Scattered to the winds, you leave behind the parts of yourself you no longer need and disperse seeds to reinvent yourself anew. <laughs> I love it. Although the conflict appears to exist externally, its essence is also internal, projected outward and causing disarray. You may find yourself at cross purposes with someone else or facing a storm you feel you can't control. Yet every storm passes and chaos leads to a reordering of things. Conflict provides a way to see more than just one side of a situation. Look upon this as just a moment in time when you may need to take shelter and step away from the fray. Don't be too eager to fight. This is a time to understand rather than be understood. Hmm. That quote is from Brother Sun, Sister Moon, from Claire, when she decided to join in and, wow. So she was, I think she was in love with St. Francis of Assisi, but then she just wanted to join in service with the group of boys, <laughs> men, and she came to the discovery, I want to, to understand rather than be understood, and it was like a shift in her mind, and she wanted to serve instead of get. So beautiful, so grateful. Um, yeah, that's the message. This is a time to understand rather than to be understood, so you'll be getting messages. This new moon is really offering you messages from the spirit, downloads um, of the truth, which is loving and gentle and soft if you get really quiet and still. And I mean, just remember, we it's our nature to resist and fight the truth. Like t today, I was, I was, sure that I had lots of things to do. And it took me, you know, until midday to surrender. You know, it took a migraine. <laughs> and I'm free now because I just went inward and just shed a bunch of, a bunch of stuff. And it's, it's so quick once we surrender. <laughs> And it's so loving and gentle. It's really inner work. It's inner love. It's inner nurturing. And you're worth it. And it feels so good. 
So those are the messages that I have for you. I'll see you next time. Tell me what is forgiveness? Cause I can't see through this darkness. Somewhere in here, light lives, there lies the